Hey guys, it's me, SSSasuke125 here, and today, for this 100 subscriber special, by the way, thanks guys for giving me 100 subscribers, or over that number, anyway, today's special I'm going to do is the thing I'm going to be making called Controversial Media. In Controversial Media, I'll be discussing various interesting and polarizing works of art, Famous writer, infamous or famous writers and artists, and other divisive subjects. Okay, what am I going to do for this first episode, you might be asking? Well, I'm going to be talking about Koichi Ohara. Now, some of you guys probably know who he is, or some of you guys don't. But the guys who don't, I'll tell you. Koichi Ohara was, was an animator... Back within the 80s, 90s, and some parts within the 2000s and early to mid to early 2000s, more precise. He worked on various like anime projects. He got to start working on stuff like Gunbusters, believe it or not. You might know that series as one of Gainax's earliest works before he worked on Neon Genesis. And he's also worked on the Gundam series for Char Char's Counter-Attack. Yeah, he's also really into, like, mech designs and stuff. Anyway, you guys might know him more so based on his... More so for his work on MD Geis, Genesis Cyber, Cybermedics Guardian, Burst Angel, and, well, fucking Ikitosin. Anyway, yeah. Now, there's been a lot of very opinions on this dude, and some say, and he's been getting a lot of flack for it. Granted, you know, some of the criticisms is justified. Some of others are a little bit exaggerated. Some people like his work, and you know, where do I fall under the ground? Fall under, or which ground do I fall? I think his stuff is okay, to be honest, or at least. I don't think they're as bad as people, some people make them out to be. Now granted, don't get me wrong, there are problems, yeah, but... I think conceptually, with a lot of Koichi O'Hara's works, they're actually pretty decent. And hell, you can even argue some of these... Some of his OVA works were actually kind of ahead of their own time, especially when it comes to, like, animation and some story concepts. Hell, I'll be the first to say that, you know... One of his, I didn't really think his work on Genocyber was really all that bad, or, hell, you know, MD Geist wasn't really even a terrible OVA, to be honest. Like, yeah, it's so bad it's good, but honestly, I don't, the guy gets way more flack than credit. Is that to say he's like one of the greatest artists ever? Hell no, he's no Akira Toriyama or Mustashi Kishimoto, but... Or the person who made Astro Boy, I forgot his name. Or hell, he, he's not even like good as, say, Junto Ito, but his work does deserve a bit more credit than some people give him. Hell, a lot of his. I kind of wish that some of the stuff, his original works that he worked on, actually were remade today. Could you imagine how cool it would be to see, like, say, an MD Geist remake? And stuff like that, you know, or a Cybermedics Guardian remake. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. With his work, like, yeah, it's not exactly that great, but but there's a certain charm to it that, you know, you kind of can't help but admire. Like, sort of like say the room. Granted, it's not as bad as say the room, but you get the point. Like. No, you can like something despite how flawed it is. Hell, I mean... In fact, I've been working on, like, a remake of, say, Genocyber for the past... two years and stuff, and I know progress has been awfully slow. And, you know, I've just been working on other projects, to be honest. But, hey, I'm definitely still working on Volume 2 and finishing that up pretty soon. But, yeah, I mean... 
But what makes Koichi Ohara's work controversial that most people have a problem with is the excessive amount of gore and violence and shit. Now, let's get one thing straight. Koichi Ohara's work isn't even that super graphic, especially by anime standards. Not even by modern standards. And yes, I know a lot of people are going to say that a lot of modern anime have toned down on the violence, but then again, you look at stuff that say like, I don't know, Elf and Lee, for example, or Death Note, or what's the never good one, or hell, some of the modern Fist of the North Star remakes. And it's funny how a lot of people tend to praise, you know, a lot of other works that are, you could argue, are just as violent or just as disturbing and pretty messed up as, say, or even more so compared to Koichi Ohara's work. Hell, Elfin Lee is a way more screwed up compared to any of Koichi Ohara's work back in the 90s. Now, that's not me dissing Elfin Lee or dissing modern anime together. You know, don't get me wrong. I like some modern stuff and some classic stuff. I mean, in fact, you know, there are problems with both modern and classic anime, or at least 90s stuff. A lot of people like to say, oh, 90s was... The 90s of days of anime were like the golden age. The 2000s were like the silver age, and later on, this is like the bronze or dark age and stuff. And on some hand, I do get where some people are coming from, but on another hand, I mean, hey, no generation is perfect. But yeah, I mean, what are my... F but yeah, overall, I don't think Oichi Ohara really deserves... All the hate that he's gotten. I mean, are there problems with his works? Hell yeah. I mean, but hey, that doesn't mean I wouldn't like to see some of these ideas revisited. Hell, and you can probably even argue that some of this, he did have a bit of an influence in, say, the field of Mecca. Sure, he's not exactly like, you know, a super pioneer or anything like that, but. Hey, I mean, he did work on Gunbusters, and hey, Gunbusters turned out really well, and, you know, and some of the mobiles, and one of the mobile suit Gundam movies, so, hey. Honestly, oh yeah, and he's also worked on, like, Blue Gender, or at least the movie version of it, and that's another underrated anime that not a whole lot of people really talk about. It's basically kind of like Evangelion, but... In sort of like a post-apocalyptic thing. Yeah, I know, it's kind of similar, but... Imagine, like, if the main character was, like, frozen in time, and then he wakes up in a po... And has to fight these, like, psychotic... Giant bug monsters. That's probably for another time, but, yeah. All in all... I say, you know, if... If you happen to find some of Koichi R's works... Some of them, I say check them out just out of curiosity. They're not exactly a war going to be like, you know, Akira level quality or hell, you know, freaking like high, super high quality and stuff. Or even going to win any major awards. But hey, let's be honest. A lot of OVAs weren't exactly, you know, that great to be honest. I mean, yeah, you had some here and there, but... Let's be honest, I mean, with OVAs, like, they really have, like, a, you know, time limits, and more so than actual series, or even mini-series, so you make the best of what you can, right? And they're all pretty low on budget, but, uh, hey. And also, what I liked about his work is that, okay, in Genocide, I like how he was able to freaking have like some elements of 3D in some of the scenes but it's not as like overly used as some you know like CG in anime today that's not saying that CG is a, ever a bad thing but like with some of a lot of CG in certain animes it sort of feels way out of place I get why it's used but Still, you know, but hey, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But with Giant Sniper, it with some of the scenes it did use, or at least the very few scenes, 
it worked, but it worked in a sort of interesting way. Hell, I mean, you have to admit back then if you saw that, that would it, that's actually kind of impressive. I mean, you can say that his work was sort of ahead of its time. Has it aged gracefully? Yeah, not really. But overall, that's my thoughts on Mr. Koichi Ohara's works. Conceptually and idea-wise, they're pretty good. In execution, they're really, really flawed. But there are some redeeming qualities here and there. So, I mean... But hey, I'm not here to change anyone's mind on the dude's artwork. If I mean, if you think his art is bad or whatever, then that's fine. I mean, I'm just one of those people that think, hey, you know, he kind of deserves a little bit more respect. And, and hell, I st would still be up for like a MD Geist remake in some form. I mean, it's probably never going to happen, obviously, but... I would not be against the idea, to be perfectly frank. Overall, this is... Well, that's just me rambling. Anyway, this is S. Sasuke125 here, and... Have a nice day, and I guess stay safe, and, and I'm signing out. Have a good one.